I like to wear puffer jackets in winter and I think they really go incredibly well with moon boots. Flynn's Arcade. Hi, this is Flynn's Arcade and this is everything you need to know about moon boots. What are moon boots? They're oversized cosy boots which are great to wear in winter. Origin story. The brand has a long history. They were created by designer Giancarlo Zanatta in response to the moon landings of 1969. 650 million people tuned in to see this event on TV. This number doesn't sound that impressive, but not that many people had TVs in those days. And there was also fewer people then than there are now. A lot fewer. I just looked it up and there was only just over 3.5 billion people then. In contrast to today, when there's now over 8 billion people. So that amount of people watching a single event on TV was huge. And it's unsurprising that Giancarlo decided to capitalize on this event. You can't buy that kind of exposure. Cultural significance. Events TV is still a thing nowadays, with 1.5 billion people tuning in to watch the World Cup final back in 2022. But I find it mind-boggling to think about just how significant that broadcast of the moon landings must have been in those days. And Giancarlo ran with this idea, and the global brand was born. After listening to the song Go by Public Service Broadcasting, an unhealthy amount of times, I'm particularly fascinated by the moon landings. Around the horn. Okay, retro. Go. Final. Go. Guide. Go. Control. I'm equally fascinated by the conspiracy theory around them that Stanley Kubrick actually shot the footage of the um, famous event of Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin like, like landing down on the lunar surface. So anything to do with the moon landings absolutely fascinates me. Moon boots were everywhere in the 1970s. People loved their futuristic design and they continued to wear them all through the 80s when they became associated with skiing holidays and were a quintessential aspect of the apro ski fashion that was developing at the time. Post-retro futurism. During the late 90s and early 2000s, people became fascinated by the 1970s aesthetic, including moon boots, which were favoured by celebrities such as Paris Hilton and Missy Elliott. Moving on to the gloom that was 2020, people needed a pick-me-up and they started to idolise the blink and the bright colours of yesteryear and the Y2K aesthetic was born. And with its return came moon boots. When I say Y2K, I don't literally mean the events of the year 2000. I'm talking about the hashtag Y2K that was popularised in 2020 when people started using it a lot on Instagram to talk about the new fashion trends which were called back to the days of 2000. Why I like them? I had never seen or heard of moon boots, at least consciously, until last winter when I started spotting them popping up around on the internet. I absolutely loved them on first sight and I decided that I was going to get some for this winter. I particularly like them because they completely fit my aesthetic. Because I'm short, I'm, like, I'm only 5 foot 2, I have to be careful about wearing long skirts and baggy trousers because, you know, just they look strange on short people. So I like to wear closer fitting items on my legs. Um, I also do yoga a lot and so I wear yoga pants a lot, you know, my way to and from yoga. But also I work from home so I've started to wear yoga pants even when I'm not going to and from yoga because you know I work from home I mean I'm not going to you know I like to dress in a comfortable way and to think there's something really satisfying about the yoga pants and moon boots combination I just like the look of tight trousers and massive boots on the bottom of, of my feet I just think the rounds off the look really well. London never really gets all that cold but I'm actually quite a naturally chilly person, so I like to wear um, like puffer jackets in winter, and I think they really go incredibly well with moon boots. Conclusion. Because of the combination of cultural history and aesthetic, I'm particularly besotted with moon boots. 
However, they are pretty expensive, so I doubt I'm going to end up collecting loads of them. Hopefully the pair I've got now will see me through the winter months, and possibly the following winter with any luck. And you never know, considering I like them so much, I can totally imagine myself getting more of them in the, uh, in the future because they come in all sorts of different colours and styles so you know I'm pretty hooked on them at this point. There's tall ones, short ones, fluffy ones, um, different fabrics, uh, you know there's, there's all sorts like you, I could get lost looking at the website because there really is uh, quite an expansive range of moon boots. So moon boots are very much in the public consciousness as well, um, they're favoured by people such as Dua Lipa and Kylie Jenner, so they've got quite a pedigree of representation in the media, in the same way as they had back in the day when uh, Paris Hilton and Missy Elliott were wearing them, so it looks like they really are back. To be honest, I'm a bit late to this trend, well, more than a bit late, I'm very late to this trend, but I can't see them going away anytime soon. So that's all from me. Uh, if you've liked this video, I've made one about the Stanley Cox trend a few months ago, which I quite enjoyed. Um, I don't normally make these types of videos, but I've really enjoyed making this one, and I really enjoyed making the Stanley Cox one, so I might make some more of them. Do you own any moon boots? Please let me know in the comments if you do. Um, let me know what colour you've got and which ones you'd like to get. Let me know when you first got them and when you first heard of them because I only heard of them like last year but like I am a bit late in the day so please let me know if you got into them earlier than that I'm sure you probably did. And if you don't have any moon boots let me know in the comments what your favourite space related thing is. Do you have a, a particular favourite event? Um, like, you know, a favourite film about space. My favourite film about space is 2001 A Space Odyssey, but, you know, maybe you like something different. Oh yeah, I also like Interstellar, that's a pretty good film too. There's quite a lot, but please let me know. If you really don't know what to write, if you could drop me a moon emoji and a boot emoji, that'd be really cool. If you've enjoyed the video, please could you do me a solid and drop the video a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I ordinarily cover um, TV and film, especially cult animations, but like I say, this is um, I've really enjoyed making this video, so I probably will make some more like this in future. So that's all from me. Unless anything comes up in the meantime, I'll see you next Sunday.